Yeah, we're on seven now. Yeah. I think the last time we addressed it, we were five. No, we were less. Were we? Yeah, we had we had Kathy and three mystery subscribers. Wow. Four. Seven. So we're on seven. Can't believe you've uh, made it this far. Yep. If you're um, new and you're not one of our, our seven, I'm Jess. If you're number eight, I'm Claudia. <laughs> and we're training for a marathon. Marathon. <laughs> <laughs> you've never said marathon. <laughs> Have I not? No, you've got all posh for your new subscribers. I've got wet hair, I look like a wet fish, as Claudia but said. she just had a shower. Yeah. And before she had a shower, she hit an all time 5k PB. I did. 24 minutes and 11 seconds. Unbelievable. Incredible. So, yeah, I'm proud of myself. Well done. I need it though. I did 24.30. On a treadmill. On a treadmill, which. Um, treadmill running is definitely harder. It's brutal. Yeah. So, yeah, proud of ourselves today. We're going to redo the route together. Our goal is to get in the 23s yeah. before the marathon. Or which marathon. 11 seconds off and you could definitely 11 seconds off you could have definitely got my time today together we'll do it yeah we will definitely do it yeah our last 5k was 20 i'm sure it was like oh so my my last one was 25 30. the one we did together was that 25 30 i got wow so, so i yeah. shaved a minute off and you shaved about 10. <laughs> I'm normally snail pants mm. as well. It's normally you, this is quick. Yeah, smashed it. But yeah. So it's, welcome um, to Jess. Yeah. It's New Year's Day today. Yeah. Isn't it? And New our New Year's resolution was not to drink wine, <laughs> but here we are, bitches! <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna start tomorrow. We're gonna start We're tomorrow. Definitely gonna start tomorrow. Because Jess read somewhere that today doesn't count. So. Yeah, it doesn't count. So if you're if one of our seven friendly friends are um, <laughs> not hitting your New Year's resolutions today, then don't worry because it doesn't yeah. matter. Most people are like hungover, aren't they, in ordering takeaways today. Yeah, so not us, we're hitting there. PBs. Hitting PBs, yeah. early night. I'm about half ten. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Crazy cat, I'm yeah. just thinking four bottles of wine. Yeah. Well, I thought it was going to be the last wine, <laughs> wine I ever had, so. <laughs> <laughs> Stop the last drop. <laughs> Yeah, oh. flat in bed at half set. But anyway, <laughs> we are gonna do a review on our trainers. Yeah. So I think just like a little bit of background, when we decided to train for me then. <laughs> <laughs> Not those guys. <laughs> my, my friends. Um, when we started, when we decided to run, we didn't even really care about trainers. Did we? We both no. dug out an old pair of ultra boots. Yeah. And just ran them and didn't think anything of it. When so. when I did my half. I ran in the worst pair of trainers ever, Nike Prestos they're called, and oh, are gosh. they running shoes? No, no, they're the worst, the worst pair of shoes to run in ever. Mm. But um, because I didn't even do any sort of background research, but now look at us with about twenty pair of trainers ready yes. to review. Yeah, we've tried, <clears throat> tried a good handful. Mm. Um, what should we start with? Should we start with the Ali Zeros because we both have a really similar view on them, don't we? I think. Yeah. Do you want to go first? Yeah, so the first pair of shoes we're going to talk about is um, both Adidas and they're called Adi Zeros, but they're two different styles of Adi Zero. So I've actually got the Adi Zero Boston 2 and I've got Adi Zero Prime X. So they're quite similar, but yours has got like a little gap yeah. here, hasn't it? And I think your heel, maybe they're not similar really, actually looking at them. Maybe they're two different kinds of trainers. Yeah. Show Sorry. the camera your face. Or what's that called? Soul. Soul. <laughs> Baseline. Um, yeah, yeah, so they are different, aren't they? Because mine have got a, basically a big gap in here. These as well are metal rods, so feel that. Which is mad, really, to oh, think wow. you're running on it. Oh, I've got metal rods! Yeah. No way! Yeah. Wow. So I'm not sure what the benefit of that is or of it, you know, Maybe what stability. the reason Maybe yeah. it's like pure stability. So... These, what I want to say is, I actually didn't enjoy running in these. I found the the sole. I was gonna say base then. <laughs> Slap the base. <laughs> Slap the base. <laughs> it's called the soul. The soul. Like the deep, dark, dark thing <laughs> inside you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I thought these were gonna be really cushiony. And I got them thinking they were going to be more cushiony than an ultra boost, but I just found it so hard. Mm -hmm. And I'm also wide footed, and these were just so narrow. 
So they felt too tight and too like. But yeah, my review is I didn't like running in, <laughs> running in these and I will not be wearing them again. So that's me. What do you think of your Abbey Zeros? Um, so I think that when I first put them on, I felt like I was like Tigger, like moin, moin, moin <laughs> on stilts. They were really good for my knee. So I felt like, because um, if you didn't know subscribers, I've got runner's knee. So I felt like when I was, I had no knee pain, but I did have my foot pain. Um, so I felt like they were mint and they were really, 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 really good. However, they were too small for me, which was problem number one. And problem number two, unless you're running on a straight flat road continuously, then the shit. So you mean like either like uphill or on like terrain? Uphill, I felt like I was bounce up there. Oh, so they go up the hill. Yeah, uphills are amazing. I felt like I'm literally like oh, okay. springing up yeah. the hill. Uh, I felt like I was springing up the hill mm. and on a flat surface, straight surface or downhill, they're great. But if you turn in any corners or you've got any sort of un uneven ground, you feel like you're going to break your ankles. Yeah. Somebody actually <clears throat> referred to them as um, feeling like on stilts and that is a true representation. Yeah, I feel like you even said that before you even read the review. That I, a bit yeah, I think if I had these in a size up, mm -hmm. I would keep them for 5Ks. Okay. Flat side days, definitely. I might even try them if we do... Um, yeah, do one together. M way. Okay. <laughs> and to the words is easy. <laughs> so yeah, that's my review on those. Yeah. So if you are going to ever get these, go half a size up, definitely. And I also think, um, just going back to like a pro of them, I think A, maybe if you're, because we both found them small and they're your actual size. Yeah, yeah, they? yeah. And mine are also my actual size. So maybe if we would have sized up, it would have been a better They would have felt better. Yeah. And maybe if you're not wide footed. But I feel like these would be great for slow, fast, uh, sorry, fast. short, fast runs. Yes. Yeah. Not a long distance run. Yeah, not a long distance run, yeah. Like if yeah, I did my 5k in these today, they probably would have been bearable. But yeah. I, there's no way I could run 21k or 42 No, these. these chewed my feet up. Yeah. But again, the thing is, I've worn them twice. So I've not really worn them in. So I feel like I can't... Yeah, but it's like a first, you know, first instinct review, isn't it? Yeah, definitely on still. You'll break your ankles if you uh, <laughs> if you go anywhere but straight. So, so yeah. yeah, that's the Addy Zeros. And the <clears throat> Addy Zero Prime. Yeah, and Addy Zero Blastings, mine are. Okay, so do you want to go first with yeah, your Yeah, we've got Ultra Boost. Just um, standard Ultra Boost, aren't they? Yeah. Um... And I went half a size up in these because these were my next trainers after the stilts. So I thought, oh, I'd best go half a size up. And apparently everyone says um, to go half a size up, don't mm -hmm. they, in running shoes. But I think that was a big mistake for me. me because, too. yeah, me too. I got blisters in these. And, um, yeah, my review on these are, I think they were too big. If they were in my right size, maybe they'd have been better. Um, my foot, I think, didn't hurt too much in these, but my knee did, and, um, yeah, that's all I have to say about these, really, I don't have much to say, I've only ran in them twice, again. Yeah, <clears throat> my review is pretty similar, so, with these, I've also gone half a size up, um, but when I'm running, they feel, I feel that that size up is, like, giving me lack of support. Yeah, I feel like so feet are all everywhere. When we did our um, 11k this weekend and I wore these, mm -hmm. I just felt like my ankles weren't, I don't know, just didn't feel tight enough. Someone said to me, there should be a size up, but I just don't feel good for mm -hmm. me, was it? No. <laughs> so these, I've also gone a size up. Again, yeah, just normal ultra boost. Um, but I feel like that mm. hasn't... I also came out in blisters um, on like the ball. Would you call that the ball of your foot? <clears throat> Um, and I've got a blister there as well, which is yeah. quite a nice to get a blister, but yeah, unsupported and, <clears throat> um, what else did I say? Unsupported and just too big. Yeah. Because ultra Shit, boost, shit, shit. <laughs> but I don't think it's the ultra boost. I think it's the sizing up. Yeah. I think it's the sizing up Because too. you feel like yours, are yours a half size or a full size? Half. Or a half size. Yeah, not yours. Yeah. Half. Right. Half. Yeah. So we should have just stuck. Yeah. Shouldn't we? Yeah. But yeah, ultra boost I do like, but I think going for the, the half size up 
was a no-go for us personally on these shoes because again we said on the added zeros we wish we would have gone yeah, a size yeah, or yeah, 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 so yeah, it just true. depends but on ultra yeah. boots i think so yeah. if you get get a pair of ultra boots yeah do not size up yeah true to size true to size yeah stick with your size and you'll be good to go but yeah that's ultra boost um, um, shall I do my Nikes? Yes, you go for your Nikes. So I bought a pair of these. <coughs> I don't know if you've ever heard the phrase, all the gear, no idea. <laughs> They're gorgeous. Though. Apparently these are the, um, these trainers were the most running trainers in Boston Mar Marathon, I should say. <laughs> um, they, Thank you. If you, <laughs> if you, there's a clip somewhere of like the, the beginners. The ones at the front, uh, the fast, people. the fastest people, <laughs> and it was literally a sea of these trainers. Wow! So I thought if they they run in them, I'm gonna get them. I've seen these all over Instagram as well. Yeah. So these are called uh, Alpha Fly Next Percent Two Nike Zoom X. Can I ask why you didn't go for the standard pink and orange? Well, this is your favorite these, color, isn't it? Well, I purely bought these. So these trainers are like nearly three hundred pound. Mm -hmm. These were on offer for two ten. <laughs> Right, okay. So I would have got the pink and orange, but because these were cheaper, I just got them and I thought... I think these are a bit of you anyway. Like yeah, I love colour. Favourite colour, blue and white. Yeah. However, they will get absolutely battered. I've worn them once and they're already stained. Yeah. Oh, so annoying. Um, so my review on these are, and this is very similar to other reviews, what I read. They are quite noisy. I thought that mm, when we ran. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I think that's due to the air bubbles right, here. Okay. Um, <laughs> so yeah, they're noisy. Mm. I think this material is a bit too hard. I wish this material was a bit softer. When you put them on, um, this opening is quite tight, so you feel like you're like really you need to really undo your laces before you put them on. Uh, I wouldn't say they're anything special to be honest, but I have only worn them once. Mm -hmm. um, my foot did hurt in them. But my knee didn't, so that's similar to the other Addy Zeros that I wore. Knee didn't hurt, but my foot did. So and clearly, I feel that's similar like gap thing. Yeah, they, I guess. yeah. So clearly, my knee benefits from a cushioned sole, but my foot, fuck knows what that needs. I need a new <laughs> one. <laughs> um. So yeah, I would say they are up. To, I've only ran in them once, and I'd say. The pretty average. I don't really have anything to report. Yeah, but the marathon runners running them, so they must be good. Yeah, I think maybe try them a few more times. Yeah, and I'll see what you think. I'm gonna keep them for long distance and wear them in. But as you can see, and this is another thing that was um, said, I've worn them once, and the soles oh, yeah. are already like the color coming off. You yeah, mean. the colors coming off. I think they're a bit. Um, Flimsy. Flimsy, mm -hmm. yeah. The, the, everybody says like they fall apart very quickly. Which for the price? For the price, it's yeah. Ideal, it's a good it? yeah. It was like a 50 quid running shoe that's yeah. falling apart, you don't care, but when you're spending 300 quid. Yeah. So my pros are my knee didn't hurt in them. Yeah. Um, oh, I don't really have any. Really? Just, yeah. They're my, pretty. <laughs> yeah, they look <laughs> nice. nice. Yeah, they look nice. My foot didn't hurt. My cons are this material is too hard. It's weird because it looks like nothing. Soft, yeah. yeah. But maybe I need to wear them in. Yeah. So yeah, that's the the Alpha Fly next. Maybe two. we'll come back with these because yeah. they're a very and popular you, shoe. Yeah. And maybe after a few months. I'll talk about them more, yeah, because I can't yeah. really give you much off one road. Day our seven. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. There you go. Snap. <laughs> Um, next, shall I go for my current favourites? Yes. So these are filthy, purely because I've just worn them about an hour ago. Um, these are the Ultra Boost Light. Now, I really, really wanted to try these, so when I got them, I was really happy about it. So the difference between a normal Ultra Boost and the Ultra Boost Light, I think... Well, I was going to say I think the sole's a bit thicker, but it doesn't look it really, does it, on there? These are light boots, and I think it's just what it says on the tin. I think they're an ultra boost, but just lighter, I'm guessing. Yeah. But these are, at the minute, my favourite running shoe. Um, reasons for, reasons being, should I say, 
Well, you hit a fucking PB. That should be reasonable. Yeah, you hit a few PBs in them. I think like. I feel like my issues, I'm blaming the shoes, but I think they're me. Like, I'm getting pain in my ankles, but I think that's from my weak calves. And I'm also getting a few blisters, but I think that's only on long distance runs. And I'm just wearing like plain black trainer socks and mm -hmm. not wearing plasters or. What size are they? These are my true size. Oh, okay. Yeah. These are a four and a half, I think. Got my day shoes on the sofa. Oh, no, they're not. They're a five. So these are actually half size up. Oh. And do they fit? Yeah. They really fit, which blows my mind actually, because we just said with the ultra boost, we yeah, wouldn't have sized up. up. That's weird. But yeah, I just feel they just feel good when I'm running and they feel supported. They feel I think you're not too heavy. That's um, thicker. That's definitely thicker. Yeah, and somebody said to me recently that because of the way I run, that bit needs to be thicker for me. And maybe that's why I'm preferring these over an ultra boost because they are slightly thicker at the front because I I think I'm quite flat when I run. Mm. I'm definitely not like predominantly on my toes. Or yeah, I think I'm on tippy toes. Smashing my heels. I do think I'm just quite flat. That's so. good though, because I read you're supposed to land in the middle of your foot. Yeah. When you run. Yeah, which I think I do. And maybe that's why it's smashing into my ankles i don't know but anyway yeah pros they feel light they feel supported and cons they give me blisters when i run long distance is my main con so maybe you need a pair of long distance trainers <coughs> yeah or maybe god they're filthy when i come down um maybe some like blister socks i've read yeah we have proper running socks so that's my next investment um or even just putting plasters on the areas like i say it's always this part the ball yeah. of my foot so oh, there's nothing worse in. than the blister as well when you're running, is there? Yeah, it's not like it's the back, like the two small. Yeah. That's it's where mine was here. there. Mine was there. Yeah, mine's always here. So if I get a blister plaster for there, then maybe that will change it. Get rid of that problem. But yeah, so far, they are my faves. Good. Yeah. So mine, my all-time favourites are these old gals. <laughs> these are Ultra Boost 2019. I've been trying to find another pair because I'm going to rebuy them. I was considering selling the Nike, them fancy Nike ones, and just getting another pair of these because I think they're amazing. I got these obviously in 2019. Um, and it's funny because they're like falling apart. They're literally <laughs> like. The boot in them's probably gone now. Yeah, they're absolutely fucked if you look there. Yeah. Um, yeah, they are. They're fucked. But I think, is that metal as well? No. Um, but they're just the best. And again, I don't know if I love them because I've worn them in. Yeah, you, you know, know, so that's like comfort. Like when I put them on yeah. today, I felt like my feet just like, you know, mm. slap in really nice. The pros are the fly knit. So this material, is it called fly knit? Oh, it's the, con that, that brand, Continental, Continental, that they like collaborated with them. And that's like, um, isn't it like an outdoor brand? No idea. I'll check that, but yeah. Maybe that's something to do with the fat line there, but I need it. Yeah, they are. So the this material here is like a sock. So they're my size, but they're very giving. So when you when you're running them, if people say your feet swell and stuff, there's room to give all the mm -hmm. time because it's like wearing a sock on the sock. Yeah. Um I am gonna buy another pair of these because I think I might potentially do the half marathon. Yeah. With these ones. Yeah. But they're battered and I need some new ones. And I think that's why. Well, when we did 8K, no, 16.1. yeah. I wore these and I had no foot pain and no knee pain. Yeah, you didn't. So, and just before that as well, you did have your acupuncture as well. I have so maybe, acupuncture, yeah. Again, for you, it was, the problem wasn't the shoe. It was me. I was the problem, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but they're battered, so I'm going to get some new ones. That's my reason on those. Yeah. Going back to what we said before, <coughs> they were the shoes that Claude just pulled out the cupboard. Yeah, these were my we, pulling out the cupboard yeah, shoes. Yeah, and mine are pretty similar. I think mine may be the Ultra Boost 20. Because mm. mine are slightly different. Yeah. Mine, mine don't have this sock. Um, but they do have this like support bit here that you have, this yeah. like, plastic bit. And the, the, when I've looked at the soles, they're quite similar. And they also have this little like shape thing there whatever that is i think it's the sock that makes it for me yeah on the shoe. i like mine i did like mine and that's why i bought two other pairs of ultra boost because i just thought the material, i do like running in them the material on these 
compared to these are different. Yeah. That's, I don't even know what material that is, but that is like a pure sock. Yeah, my, my first running shoes that I pulled out of the cupboard, I think, do have the more thicker mm, material. Um, but, and a similar boost. But yeah, which I did like. So, yeah, to summarise, I think we're both more preferring an Adidas shoe. We've not tried any other brands apart from Adidas and Claude has tried the Nikes, but there's so much out there, isn't there? New yeah. Balance, uh, yeah. Asics, is it Asics, called? Yeah, New Balance. Um, I wouldn't mind trying a pair of um, the New Balance ones. Yeah, yeah. Just the tough thing with running but is I'm running not trainers are very expensive yeah. and once you try them, you can't send them back. Yeah. So. That's um, it. As soon as you're running them, it's done, isn't it? If any of our seven subscribers or watchers are runners and want to recommend a shoe, please do. <laughs> yeah. If you're wide footed and you long distance <laughs> run, let, let me know what you're running in. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's our shoe journey so far, isn't it? Yeah. Um, we've got 13 days till our half marathon. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to do, um, we've done our 5K. We've got a 6.5, an 8.1, and an 11.5. Yeah. We are going to do our 11.3 at Heaton Park in Manchester, which is where our half marathon is. It's a very, very hilly route. We did actually run our last week's 11.3 at Heaton Park just to get familiar with um, the route. And it's solid. Yeah. It is apt. I think it's the hardest run that we've ever done. It's really, it's really, really, really hard. hard. The hills are not just little hills. No. Either. They just keep going and keep going. It's none of this. <laughs> it's literally this. Yeah. <laughs> and a bit of this. Yeah. <laughs> but then back to this. And we have to do one route four times. So, so we have to basically go up the hill of hell. Yeah. Four times and add an extra K on there. So yeah, we need to familiarise ourselves with it. Um, Luckily and for us, we live in a I've said this before hilly area, a really hilly area. So mm. a lot of our training has included hills. So yeah, thank fuck. Yeah, when I did the half marathon, much. I didn't run up a blooming <clears throat> hill in my life. Yeah, but this one we've smashed the hills, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. and and it was tough. Smash it on me these next two weeks now. Got to use our short ones to make sure we're getting those hills in. Just yeah, to be prepared. We did two loops, didn't we? Of um, yeah, of the half marathon route, and it was fucking solid. It was. It was hard. We were actually saying that we could maybe try and get a sub two, but after, yeah, no. After doing that, we got we basically basically did a quarter marathon and got it in two hours and three minutes. So I don't think a sub two. We didn't get it in two hours three minutes. One hour three minutes. <laughs> fucking hell, when did you fucking crawl it? <laughs> One hour three minutes. One hour three minutes for eleven point. One. One. Yeah, we did it wrong. We did it wrong. We, we should have run 11.3, but we did 11.1. But we got it in one hour and three seconds. Yeah. And it was just after Christmas with minutes. lots of booze and lots of three minutes. Are you sure? Yeah. One hour, three minutes. Yeah. Which is good, considering the fucking state of the hills. Yeah. And we said, didn't we, if we get it under like 210, we'd say we'd be happy. Well, anything under 220 for me is a PB, so yeah. I'm buzzing with anything under Which 220. Which we'll absolutely do. Yeah. Yeah. We worked out that we'll get it in, if we if we do our average pace at six minutes yeah, per K, two, we would five. get it in two six. Oh, interesting. Well, that's good. Yeah. Maybe that's wrong, I don't know. <laughs> but it's either 212 or 26. Anything under 220 is a PB, so yeah. I'm happy with that. Yeah, it's my first half marathon, so again, I just want to do it. I feel like we should get a picture of the hill and put it on it. Yeah. To show people how brutal it is. Yeah. And if any of our seven subscribers have run the Manchester half marathon, you need to let us know what you've got this time in. Yeah. And how yeah. the fuck you got them hills four times. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So in the next couple of weeks, we're going to try and beat the PB that I got today on my 5K, which was 24 minutes and 11 seconds, which is actually incredible. I'm really proud of myself. Unreal. Um, I think our last PB was 25 minutes and 30 seconds, was it? Yeah. Around? So I've shaved, shaved nearly a minute and 20 seconds off. Um, but we've not done a 5k since the end of October, so it's been a, a, a real long time because <laughs> um, we've just been doing so many longer runs. But yeah, we're going to do one together and we're going to try and be 24, 11, ideally in the 23s. That would be an all yeah. time. Oh my gosh. Well, our 
So our short term goal in the next couple of weeks before the half marathon mm -hmm. is to beat twenty four eleven. Yeah. But our long term goal before the marathon, yeah, we've got seven five Ks is to get our five K time in twenty three minutes. Yes, in the twenty three minutes. In the twenty three. So between twenty three and fifty nine. Which we're absolutely going to do. Definitely. I do it, which is incredible. I never thought I'd get a, a 5K. Never in a million years. My, my brother's fast and his PB is like, I don't think his is 24 or something. Yeah. I think you've beat his PB. Wow. Yeah. Coming for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we'll see you when we hit 24, 10. Yeah. Next week. It's got to be 24, 10 or lower. Yeah. No lower. Wish us luck. Yeah. Or tell us what you think we'll get. Yeah. Do you think we'll beat it together? Mm. <laughs> Stay tuned. Hey, okay, Mum, what do you think? Do you think I can do it? <laughs> can you please tell me I can do it? Uh, yeah, hope right. you enjoyed the trainer review. Yeah, see you we'll later. See you next time. Bye, bitches. Bye. <laughs> Woo.